We have learned some very interesting things about redwoods recently. But first, I have to make it across this log before I tell you. This is Bull Creek in Rockefeller Forest in Humboldt Redwood State Park. And this tree naturally fell. And um, now it's my bridge. And it's a, probably a lot of animals' bridges too. There's probably mountain lions across this and everything because it's hard to cross the creek these days. There's a natural, another natural bridge down there. So let's see if I make it. Here's the hard part. When you're 52, wish me luck, y'all. I made it. All right. Redwoods can be really, really tall. And they can have a billion leaves per tree. Yes, you heard that right. A billion. And they could be as big as seven, it can be as big as 70,000 me's. Okay, there could be 70,000 me's in there. You know what's really weird is we always think about like the um, dinosaur era being the big era. But the biggest organism that's ever lived on the planet is alive right now. Um, <clears throat> unless you're gonna count some of those fungi, but we're not sure about that yet. But the giant sequoia and the coastal redwood trees are the biggest things that have ever been alive on the planet. And the biggest animal that's ever been alive on the planet is alive right now too. And that's a blue well. So this is the big time. Very cool. So I'm here in Humboldt Redwood State Park, like I said before, and it is incredible. It's your park. There's only 4% of the old growth redwoods left. And, and here in Rockefeller Forest, where I'm at now in Humboldt Redwood State Park, it's the biggest old growth redwood forest left. And there's so many interesting stories here that I can't do in three minutes, but if you come back, There'll be more because I live in the Redwoods and I work in the Redwoods and I speak for the Redwoods. So I would love to tell you all about these interesting trees, but I'm just going to tell you one super crazy thing that we're just, you know, we're still discovering things about Redwoods. Don't think we know everything. We're still finding out. We're not even certain about some things, but we do know they drink through their leaves during the summer. So here it's a Mediterranean environment, which means wet, cool winters and dry warm or hot summers. And so how would a water loving tree like the redwoods survive here at Coastal Redwoods? And that's because they drink fog. And we just found out there's a fungi, fungi, whatever you wanna call it, living on the leaves. And their hyphae go into the stomata, which are the holes like pores in the, in the leaves. And those hyphae direct water. Water follows the hyphae into the stomata and redwood trees get about 30% of their water in the summer from fog. Crazy. So crazy. There's a million other crazy things that I could tell you about Redwood. So um, if you follow me or if you at Griff Wild on Facebook or at NatureNet, at the NatureNet on uh, Instagram, and you'll get be able to see stuff like this all the time.